Welcome to the Finite Math Podcast. Today, I'm going to show how to compute the average, that is the mean, of a set of data that's been grouped into a distribution. Often, we don't know the exact data values in order to find the average. Uh, such is the case in the example we have here of the salaries of presidents of public research universities. Now, the data has been given by being grouped into categories, which are approximately $100,000 wide. So to find the average, we're going to have to uh, have a single value, which we think can represent, and best as we know, the values in each category. Now, the most natural value is that of the midpoint. So let's go and uh, create a column that arranges the midpoints for each of these. Now we'll round them off a little bit. So for example, from zero to 200,000, we just might put in 100,000 for that. Uh, the next one is uh, say 250. Next one would be 350. Now we can have Excel just fill out the rest of these values. Okay, so what we've done here is create a column for the midpoints here. And we're going to use these single numbers to represent uh, the, the categories. Now, we then proceed to find the mean just as if we had the mean of these specific values that were each repeated uh, the number of times given here. So, for example, uh, the $100,000 uh, salary there's two of those, $250,000 salary, there are 34 of those, etc. So let's create a column here that would be the frequency times the midpoint, just to have a label to see what it's going to be. Now let's implement that. We can say frequency times midpoint. Okay, we see that's got to be cracked two times $100,000, and we can just fill that the rest of the way down. Okay, now, what do we have to do to find the mean? Well, what we have to do is we want to add up uh, the data values we have here. So we want to add up basically all, however, number uh, of frequency points we have and divide it by the total source. So we can do that with the sum. I can go up and look at the auto sum and over here and create an auto sum. All right, so our mean now is going to be just found by taking the sum of the midpoints times the frequencies and dividing it by the sum over here of the total frequencies. And we see that uh, at least in 2006-2007, the our best estimate for the average of the salaries for these university presidents was uh, almost uh, $410,000. Well, there you have it. We've created a, the mean of a, a frequency, a group frequency distribution. Thanks for watching.